The atmosphere in the Core Hall Square was so oppressive that it was suffocating. Everyone looked at this exciting scene and their hearts boiled with excitement. When senior brother Jason returned to Sky City and had not yet settled down, senior brother Edmas, whose strength had greatly increased over the past year or so, stepped forward without hesitation and issued a challenge. He was so arrogant, the indomitable fighting spirit and momentum made all the disciples present go crazy with excitement. For a moment, the entire core hall square was silent, without a trace of sound. The air was almost solid, and you could clearly hear a pin dropping to the ground. Edmiz, what do you mean? In this frozen atmosphere, an uninhibited voice, with a hint of dissatisfaction, suddenly sounded in the square. Beside Jason, Cassinus came out and looked at Edmus said coldly. Edmus advanced to the eighth-level imperial spiritual master more than three months ago, and his strength has skyrocketed. Cassinus was promoted as early as half a year ago after being cured of the stubborn disease in his body by Jason. As an eighth-level peak imperial spiritual master, Cassinus was not afraid of Edmus at all. In his mind, it was certain that Jason would become stronger during the year when he went on a mission, but he would never be as strong as Edmitz, who was buried in the killing abyss and practicing hard in the secret realm of trials. Jason back then was son only defeated Edmiz by a slight advantage on the elixir list. Now the strength of both sides was ebbing and flowing, which made Cassinus feel a little worried about Jason and stood in front of him without hesitation. Edmas ignored Cassinus's words and just looked at Jason coldly. The depressive and tense atmosphere spread in the square, making all the disciples present hold their breath involuntarily and looked at this person for a moment. Everything that happens on the side. Edmas, leave obediently. On the side, Lanyagusan also spoke out, and cold words came out of her mouth, otherwise, don't blame me for being rude to you. Lanyuigusen was extremely angry at Edma's behavior. Hearing Lanyushausen's words, many core disciples present felt disappointed. With Lanyuigusen and Cassinus present, it seemed that the battle between senior brother Jason and senior brother Edmas was not going to happen. It might have happened. It was a pity for everyone to miss such an amazing battle. Jason, I want to challenge you. However, just when countless disciples felt sorry in their hearts, Edma's warlike voice sounded coldly again, echoing in the square, facing Lanyuigusen and Kasanu despite the obstruction of the two men, Edmas did not flinch at all. Wow! All the disciples present were excited at this moment. Edmas, you Lanyuigusen's eyes immediately showed a hint of anger. She took a step forward and was about to say something but a big hand instantly grabbed her shoulder and stopped her. Lanyugusen turned her head and looked in shock, only to see Jason walking out behind her with an indifferent expression and a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. Since you think so highly of me, if I don't agree to you, I'm afraid God won't agree to it either. It just so happens that I haven't done any activities since I returned to Sky City, so I'll use you to practice my skills and test my skills in more than a year. My progress is better than Jason laughed lightly, his tone was flat and emotionless, as if he didn't take Edmit's challenge to heart at all. Jason, you shall have Father Falcon, what about Edmit's on the side, Cassinus, Claire, Melting Saint and others suddenly became anxious, and they shouted loudly. Huh, they who have been in the Sky City naturally know the changes in Edmiz in the past year. However, before they could finish their words, they were interrupted by Jason. Now that he had advanced to the eighth level of Emperor Spiritual Master, he was naturally not afraid of anyone. Okay, very good. In that case, I'll wait for you at the Sky Arena. Edmus said indifferently, his whole body suddenly flew up, and his figure shot towards the Sky Arena, not far away. Jason, why did you agree to him? In this year, Edmus has advanced to the eighth level of the Imperial Spiritual Master, and has perfected the extermination gold holy technique. Although you are powerful, but Ka with a worried look on his face, Sinus told Jason about the changes in Edmets. Don't worry, I have my own sense of proportion. Jason smiled, his eyes full of confidence, everyone, come with me, you won't waste much time. After the words fell, 
Jason shot up to the sky with a whoosh, and also it flew towards the sky arena. Jesse Na, after hearing Jason's words, Cassinus shook his head speechlessly. Since Jason himself was so confident, Cassinus couldn't say anything. Immediately, a large group of them also flew up one by one, followed Jason, and flew towards the Yao Kong arena. Wow! All the disciples in the square were shocked and rushed towards the sky arena, not wanting to miss the shocking battle. For a time, the core disciples all over the sky were like passing locusts, densely flocking to the Yao Kong arena. When all of them came to the sky arena, Edmiz and Jason were already standing on both sides of the arena. Jason, a year and a half ago, I lost to you in the spiritual medicine ranking competition. During these more than a year, I practiced hard and lived a life that was worse than death every day, in order to if I can defeat you, I will let you know that I, Edmiz, am the most talented disciple of the Alchemist Tower. Edmiz said indifferently, with an indomitable fighting spirit in his eyes, after defeating you, I will challenge Lan Yugusen and take away the number one spot on the elixir list that she has held for more than ten years. In the ring, Edmiz stood proudly, her long golden hair flying in the wind automatically, a stream of astonishing power broke through the restraints and was released from his body, shocking the world. Stop talking nonsense and take action. Jason said directly. Okay. Edmus said coldly, with two dazzling golden lights flowing in his eyes, and his body that had been standing still suddenly moved. His hand suddenly raised, and the long sword at his waist appeared in his right hand at some point. Without any pause or hesitation, he aimed at Jason and slashed him with the sword. Boom! The golden sword energy broke through the void, and the golden long sword in Edma's hand pierced the sky like a golden heavenly sword, aiming at Jason and slashing it down. Emperor of Gold Swords One by One One Sword Kills the World Two Swords Determine the World Three Swords Divide Yin and Yang Four Swords Break All Laws a cold voice sounded in Jason's ears, without a trace of emotion, the long sword in Edmit's hand was aimed at Jason and struck out four times in an instant. These four swords of his, one is faster than the other, faster than the other, unrivaled in bravery, and invincible in both vertical and horizontal directions. It is Edmi's famous stunt, the Golden Emperor Sword. In the Elixir List competition, Edmis also used this trick on Jason, but due to Jason's resistance, he was only slightly injured. Now Edmiz actually used it again. Out. But compared to the last time he struck out with a sword, the Golden Emperor sword used by Edmiz this time was stronger than last time and had less impact. Edmiz made consecutive strikes in a very short period of time. With four swords, the four golden sword lights actually merged together in the void to form a huge golden heavenly sword which was wrapped in terrifying spiritual power and came to Jason in an instant. Boom! Endless spiritual power boiled, and the void was suddenly pierced, revealing dark space cracks. The terrifying energy continued to dissipate. In the trembling eyes of all the core disciples around, the golden handle, connecting heaven and earth the giant sword, came to Jason in an instant. It was about to split Jason in half in the next moment. Master. Father. Jason. Underneath, Claire and others clenched their fists, looking nervous. Golden Emperor Sword? Huh. Faced with Edma's attack and the boiling golden spiritual power in the sky, a sneer bloomed at the corner of Jason's mouth. At the moment when the golden giant sword was about to chop down his head, he couldn't help but sigh. At some point, the black ape behind Jason appeared in his hand. Under Jason's control, the black ape was like a weightless straw, chopping together with the golden giant sword in an instant. Buzz! The five elements of spiritual power flowed in Jason's body, and a unique spiritual power instantly spread out from Jason's body, along the black heavy sword, and instantly submerged into the golden giant sword condensed by Edmut's terrifying spiritual power. In the void, the golden giant sword trembled silently, and then one by one, pung. The golden giant sword used by Edmiz, with all his strength, shattered instantly and turned into golden light spots all over the sky. 
The top of his head floated down, turning him into a golden god of war. Don't be stupid, use all your strength. On the ring, Jason looked at Edmitz indifferently, his eyes full of indifference. The previous blow seemed to have no effect at all. He contributes. This around the ring, all the disciples' eyes widened when they saw this scene, with surprise in their eyes. You on the ring, a trace of surprise flashed across Judima's eyes, I underestimated you. It seems that you have not fallen behind in training for more than a year. In this case a glimmer of light flashed in Edma's eyes. His long hair flew instantly, his golden robes fluttered, and the spiritual power radiated from his body, fluctuated. He continued to climb, and his amazing golden, spiritual power, the world of Tsongping. Boom! An invisible ripple emanated from Edma's body, and the whole world seemed to turn into gold in an instant. The space within the entire arena was restrained, and an unparalleled pressure came from Edma's body surface dissipated, and Edma's whole body glowed with golden light, and a strong aura continued to rise from his body. Buzz! Countless golden sword shadows flew out from Edma's body. Thousands of golden lights appeared over the entire sky arena. Countless sword shadows floated for a while, and the original power of the golden law was the entire sky emerged, and then combined with the spiritual power released by Edmas, it instantly condensed into a world. The world of swords. The world of swords was completed. In the sky, countless golden glows appeared like thousands of golden swords flying in the air. They were constantly rotating. With a slight tremor, the terrifying golden power spread out, making the space clear. Waves of distortion. Edmas did not pause, and held his hands in the void sword of the world, condense. Edmas' eyes glowed with divine light, and he shouted loudly. Boom. 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 The world of swords covering half of the sky shrank rapidly. Countless golden sword energies continued to shrink and condense, and then condensed into a long sword in front of Edmas. A huge golden sword that reaches nearly ten feet. The golden sword of the world is highly condensed and constantly trembling in the void, emitting an astonishing aura. Edmas also performed this in the Elixir List competition that year. The Sword of the World, but the Sword of the World used by Edmas at first was only nearly 10 meters in size, but now, this Sword of the World is actually nearly 10 feet long, more than 20 meters long. The highly condensed gold element, the elements seem to form a real physical, giant sword. The terrifying law of the Great Road continued to linger around the golden giant sword. Traces of golden mist dissipated, the void continued to disappear and huge black holes appeared one after another. Surrender! Edmas roared, and the world sword in his hand slashed down fiercely. The sword of the world? Looking at the world sword that was nearly ten feet high in front of Edmas, Jason couldn't help but glance at the corner of his mouth, with an indifferent expression, and couldn't help but shake his head. A five-color divine light suddenly emitted from Jason's body. The black ape in his hand was raised, high. A five-color divine light spurted out from the black ape, forming a huge five-color light in the void. The divine sword also struck at Edma's location. Boom! Like pushing down a mountain of gold and overturning a jade pillar, the two giant swords each occupied half of the sky, tearing open the sky. In the shocked eyes of all the core disciples, they collided like meteorites. At this moment, time stopped. Boom. It was as if two nuclear bombs refused to collide with each other. The next moment, in the horrified eyes of all the disciples, an uncontrollable and earth-shaking explosion suddenly exploded in the void. The entire void solidified, leaving only a dazzling light. In the violent explosion, the world sword controlled by Edmus cracked and shattered step by step and then the extremely condensed world sword exploded with a bang, and a large amount of golden spiritual power was thrown down, and Jason controlled it. The five-color divine sword also trembled, but it did not break. After shattering Edma's world sword, it came to Edma's in lightning speed and stopped in front of him. Is this your progress over the past year? Too weak, really too weak. 
On the ring, Jason held a heavy sword in his hand, shaking his head and sighing. Accepting Edma's challenge, Jason also wanted to test his own strength, but he did not expect that Edma's was not even qualified to use his full strength, which made Jason extremely disappointed. Damn it, damn it. When Jason said this, Edmi's eyes instantly turned red, filled with boundless humiliation. Jason, I didn't want to use that move at first, because my move is too strong. Once I use it, I can't even control it, and it will probably kill you, but now that you said so Edmis red eyes stared at Jason who was not far away, let you see how much I, Edmis, have really grown in this year. Edmis words ended with boom. A breath of earth-shattering spiritual power spurted out from his body in an instant, and the terrifying golden spiritual power dispersed. All the golden spiritual power in the entire arena was boiling, surging like waves, forming a world of its own. The pressure was directed towards Jason. The terrifying aura of spiritual power changed the color of all the core disciples watching the battle. Waves of irresistible force were aimed at them and they continued to disperse, causing them to retreat one after another with horrified expressions. At the same time, Edmus raised the long sword in his hand high, his eyes became extremely pious, and a tall golden humanoid shadow suddenly appeared behind him. An unspeakable pressure came instantly, the phantom resembled the arrival of a saint-level powerhouse, and its terrifying aura made it almost impossible for most of the core disciples watching the battle to breathe. The Golden Saint Art of Extermination, the Golden Saint descends to destroy the world. Edmus' eyes were dull, without any expression, and he made a cold voice in his mouth. A golden sword rainbow, connecting heaven and earth soared into the sky from the long sword in Edmus' hand, and merged with the tall golden figure. Together. In the horrified eyes of all the core disciples, a golden figure suddenly walked out of the void. He was as tall as a god in charge of the sky, with an indifferent expression. The golden sword rainbow in his hand was aimed at Jason's location and fell with a crash. Break! The void was split open directly, like paper, and a huge space crack was instantly torn open. The golden sword rainbow came to Jason's head instantly with the power of destroying everything. Jason seeing this scene, Cassinus's eyes suddenly showed horror under the ring and he shouted. Such a terrifying blow, even if he advanced to the eighth level half a year ago, even the peak-level imperial spiritual master did not dare to say that he would definitely be able to take it on. But if it was Jason, Cassinus couldn't help but feel a huge worry in his heart. Not only him, but also others were trembling under this power, their faces were pale, and they looked at Jason on the ring with worry. The holy art of extermination gold, this is a bit interesting, a bit interesting. On the stage, feeling the terrifying golden spiritual power oppressing him, and a sword that seemed to be able to destroy the world, Jason finally made a satisfied voice. However, there was no trace of anxiety or worry on his face. At the moment when the golden sword rainbow splitting the sky and the earth was about to fall on his head, Jason suddenly took a step forward and two five-color divine lights flashed from his eyes. Lightning suddenly shot out. Buzz. A colorful stream of five-element spiritual power descended from the sky and instantly enveloped the entire arena. At this moment, the five-element spiritual power in Jason's body was raised to the maximum under the operation of the spirit god art. The astonishing spiritual power came from Jason. The body is rising. The five elements come and go, and the laws last forever. Jason yelled loudly, and five colors of divine light bloomed in his eyes. Boom! In an instant, the whole world was in riot. The twenty elements of the endless five elements spirit poured into Jason's body like a flood. In an instant, the spiritual power throughput in Jason's body increased by nearly ten times, with a powerful pressure. The sky and the earth seemed to tremble. The law of birth and death of the five elements destroys the heaven and the earth. Jason shouted loudly, his eyes were like lightning, bursting with light, his hands were like turning millstones, pushing slowly, the spiritual power in his body boiled instantly, and he aimed at the golden phantom holding the golden sword and slashing the rainbow, and sprayed out fiercely. Boom! 
Endless spiritual power spurted out from Jason's hands, like a colorful rainbow, breaking through the void and colliding with the golden sword rainbow, slashed by the golden shadow. Pung. Wherever the five-color divine rainbow went, the space collapsed, and the void continued to collapse, destroying all tangible and intangible existences. The golden sword rainbow, which seemed to be able to split even the heaven and earth, was instantly shattered under the bombardment of the five-color divine rainbow. As it opened, the five-color divine rainbow continued unabated, directly hitting the golden shadow of the tall dog that descended. The majestic, vast, and tall golden shadow was unable to withstand the five-color divine rainbow cast by Jason. In an instant, it disintegrated and turned into gold spirit elements that filled the sky. The five-colored divine rainbow defeated the golden sword rainbow and the tall figure one after another. Without any pause, it once again bombarded Edma's below. Bang! In Edmi's horrified eyes, the colorful rainbow instantly hit his body. The golden robe on his body was instantly shattered, and his chest suddenly collapsed. His whole figure was like a cannonball, being thrown heavily. Flying out. The bright red blood scattered in the air. Edma's body landed heavily on the ring, then slid along the huge ring, and finally fell heavily on the ring. Countless eyes looked hurriedly along the reflection of the figure. When their eyes caught sight of the defeated person, the square instantly fell into a dead silence. Outside the ring, the towering and invincible Edmies, who had seemed like a god before, was now in a mess. The clothes on his body were shattered into countless pieces by the force of the crossfire. His whole body was almost naked, and there was a wound on his chest. There was blood oozing out from the wound of a giant dog. Hiss. Seeing Edma's appearance, all the disciples present suddenly felt a chill coming from their hearts. What they didn't know was that if Jason hadn't instantly retracted his power when the colorful rainbow hit Edmits, Edmas might not have been injured at all. Under the ring, blood frothed at the corner of Edmus's mouth. He stood up with difficulty and looked at Jason on the ring with horror. There was endless horror and fear in his eyes. He never thought that after he was promoted to the eighth-level peak emperor spiritual master, and even after he had mastered the moon-level high-level martial art of the extermination gold holy art to perfection, the strongest attack he used would be broken by Jason like this. This made the Exion Edmies, who wanted to defeat Jason and avenge himself in the Elixir List competition, was filled with despair. That kind of spiritual despair was far worse than the trauma on his body. Edmis, I said, no matter how many times you challenge me, I will let you down. On the ring, Jason looked at Edmis indifferently under the ring and then his whole body flew past. He got up and came to Cassinus and others who were still in shock under the ring. Let's go back. Jason said calmly, bringing Cassinus and the others back to their senses from the shock. The group of people immediately turned into a few streams of light and disappeared into the sky arena. In the entire sky arena, only the core disciples who were watching the battle with dull faces were left, as well as Edmits, whose pupils were ashen. Master Edmis was defeated, and it was actually Brother Edmis who was defeated. It's incredible. Did you see Senior Brother Jason's move earlier? It instantly defeated Senior Brother Edma's strongest attack. It was so terrifying. Senior Brother Edma's is an 8th level Imperial Spiritual Master. Ah, I even practiced the extermination gold holy technique to great perfection, and was actually defeated by Senior Brother Jason in three moves. This is incredible. The key thing is Senior Brother Jason's posture. Did you see it? I analyzed it carefully. Looking at the entire battle process, plus what Senior Brother Jason said during the battle, when Senior Brother Edmas made moves in the first two times, Senior Brother Jason only passively defended and did not use his full strength at all. In the end, Edwin Brother Miz used his strongest attack, Brother Jason took it seriously. In the end, he defeated Brother Edmas with one move. If Brother Jason used his full strength from the beginning, wouldn't it mean that he could defeat him with just one move? Senior Brother Edmus? 
defeat Master Edmiz with one move oh my god, did senior brother Jason advance to the ninth level of Holy Spirit Master in more than a year after leaving Sky City? Around the Sky Arena, looking at the retreating figures of Jason and others, many core disciples exclaimed in shock, their eyes full of surprise. Everything that happened before was really too shocking. Almost all the disciples had preconceived ideas that Edmits would win. However, the result was far beyond their expectations, making them unable to believe their own. I. Ahem. Next to the Sky Arena, Edmiz, who was pale and with blood at the corner of his mouth, stood up unsteadily. His eyes were deathly gray, and he seemed to have lost his soul. He was stroking his injured chest with his right hand. He rose up with difficulty and then flew towards his Jiwatan Peak Mansion. If in the Elixir List competition more than a year ago, Jason was slightly better and defeated Edmiz, it only made Edmiz filled with humiliation, angry and determined to regain his position, this time the battle made Edmiz completely lose the idea of competing with Jason. He practiced hard in the Killing Abyss and the Trial Secret Realm for more than a year, and was in hard training all the time. In more than a year, he advanced from the 8th level advanced to the 8th level peak emperor spiritual master, and used the moon level high level skills he had cultivated. The FA Juaji Jin Shingong has also been practiced to great perfection, but the gap between him and Jason is getting wider and wider, which makes Edmas completely discouraged. And with Edmas leaving, Edmas challenged Jason, and the two fought. Jason defeated Edmas with three moves with absolute strength and it was like the wind with wings, quickly. The news spread throughout the Sky City. In a hall, deep in the core hall. What? Edmus challenged Jason, but was defeated by Jason in three moves? After Jason advanced to the eighth level of the Imperial Spiritual Master, he turned out to be so powerful. He had accepted Jason's mission before and had not yet left. Elder Waterfield and others were shocked after hearing the report from a staff member of the core hall. Quickly, tell me clearly the situation of the two of them fighting. Elder Waterfield said with a solemn expression. Yes. The staff who went to the Sky Arena to watch the battle between Jason and Edmas immediately narrated the battle between the two in detail. Edmas used all his strength, without any hesitation. Hand. After listening to the staff's narration, Elder Waterfield's face immediately showed a hint of shock. With his ninth-level low-level Holy Spirit Master's strength, although he was not present at the scene, he could tell from the staff's narration that Edmies didn't hold back at all during the battle. This Jason has only grown to this point in just a few years. An eighth-level low-level Emperor Spiritualist can defeat an eighth-level peak Emperor Spiritualist like Edmies with one move. With the five elements attributes, is it possible? Is it really that strong? Waterfield murmured. On the side, Master Pasteur, Master Baptista, Master Alphonsus, and others also had shock in their eyes. Elder Sevlin, who introduced Jason to the Alchemist Tower, had a smile on his lips and bright eyes. For such a person, our Elixir Tower must keep him. With such a talent, even Lan Yugusin, who was brought back by the master of the tower, would not give in too much. Elder Waterfield said with emotion, I wonder what Jason's attainments in spiritual medicine are like. Coughlin, do you know? Waterfield looked at Coughlin. I don't know the specific elixir master level of Jason, but when he was still a seventh-level imperial elixir master, he had an elixir duel with the core disciple Paltro in the elixir city, and he prepared the elixir. Although there is a bit of a coincidence in passing the 8th level Imperial Elixir, according to my estimation, there is absolutely no problem for Jason to advance to the 8th level Elixir Imperial Master. Elder Kevlin said firmly. Back when Jason was participating in the Continental Elite competition and his reputation was not yet obvious, Coughlin listened to the stories of what and Benjamin and valued Jason's knowledge of elixirs, so he wholeheartedly brought him into the Elixir Master Tower. Yes, Elder Coughlin has extremely firm confidence in Jason's knowledge of elixirs. Well, in that case, if Jason does anything in the future, you must inform me. Now, 
I will report the process of Jason completing the mission and this matter to the two deputy tower masters. By the way, Jason the elixir list submitted will be reviewed by the two deputy tower masters. Elder Waterfield pinched the six eighth-level materials written by Jason in his hand and immediately walked out of the hall and asked the two elixir master tower masters. The deputy tower master reported. A holy place for spiritual cultivation, deep in the spiritual medicine master's tower. It's that Jason again. Elder Chittick, who was drinking, crushed the wine glass in his hand. When Jason didn't give him face and killed Paltero on the spot, it left an extremely bad impression on Elder Chittick. Later, after Jason became a core disciple, Chittick also visited him many times. Jason was in trouble. He sent someone to the core hall to send a message and assign Jason the worst mansion. However, it never affected Jason. Now that he heard the news that Jason defeated Edmits, Chittick, the elder, felt even more unhappy. Huh, let him be proud first. Time is running out. Before long, this guy won't be proud anymore. Suddenly, as if he thought of something, Elder Chittick said coldly, with a look in his eyes. There was a hint of cold light that flashed away. While the entire Sky City was in an uproar over Jason and Edma's challenge, Jason and his group of nine people all returned to their mansion on the Island of Transformations. What is this still my god transformation island looking at the magnificent palace courtyards in front of him, Jason's expression froze as he landed on the god transformation island. I haven't seen it for more than a year, but the entire Huashan island has undergone earth-shaking changes. Beautiful palaces and pavilions are located on Huashan island, reflecting the entire Huashan island beautifully. What what's going on? Jason looked at Lan Yugu Sen. But then, as if he thought of something, his expression couldn't help but change. Before Lan Yugusen could answer, he rushed entering the center of Huashan Island, where the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation is located. After seeing the medicinal fields where a large number of high-level elixirs were planted in the central courtyard, and feeling the rich special spiritual elements in the surrounding air, Jason let out a long breath. Although the appearance of the valley has undergone earth-shaking changes, the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation that I built originally has not been damaged at all, and the Jiwatian Formation and the Five Elements Transformation Formation are also perfectly integrated with the architecture. Jason, during your absence, we have renovated Huashan Island. Now that there are more people here, naturally we can't live in caves like before. Lan Yuggusen said with a smile. Jason nodded. As long as the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation was not destroyed, Jason had no objection to where he lived. Which master did you ask to design and construct this architectural drawing of the Spiritual Medicine Master Tower? He didn't destroy my formation. This master's strength is really incredible, looking at this building that perfectly combines the formation patterns, Jason couldn't help but make a sound. It doesn't matter that the Jutian Grand Formation and the Five Elements Transforming Spirit Formation have not been destroyed. After all, they are not too heaven-defying. However, the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation has not been destroyed, which makes Jason quite curious. This formation can be it's not something ordinary people can understand. Haha. <laughs> After hearing Jason's words, everyone present laughed. Master, I designed this architectural drawing. Rong Xing jumped out of the crowd proudly and asked Jason for credit, Master, it took me more than a month to design this drawing. It is to understand the formations and patterns set up by you, Master, so that they will not be destroyed. As for the most central part, I designed it under the guidance of senior sister Lan Yuigusen. Seeing the way that Melting Saint was asking for credit, Jason he also laughed immediately. Indeed, it is indeed not something difficult to do with Rongsheng, a seventh-level senior alchemist, and Lan Yugusen joining forces to design a blueprint that does not affect the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation. By the way, where's my room? Jason said. Everyone immediately took Jason to the deepest courtyard in the courtyard, which was where Jason practiced. Jason, this is your training place. Nothing has changed. As a fire spiritual master, 
Claire naturally lives in the area of the five elements spiritual energy. I asked the melting saint to use the formation to separate a special area. A room was built for Claire in a region with pure fire elements. Laniwagusan introduced to Jason, Temujin is an earth spiritual master, and melting saint also separated a region with pure earth elements. As for melting saint himself and Dini Shah, they are spiritual masters of the wind system, and the room is outside the five element space. Leonardo is a spiritual master of the illusion system, Cassinus is a spiritual master of the light and dark system, and Sophia, they are of the light system, and they are also outside the five element space. The place where each of us lives is arranged according to our own attributes, so that we can absorb the most spiritual elements with the least effort. In under the introduction of Lan Yugusin and others, Jason thoroughly visited his new mansion and felt extremely emotional. The entire mansion was designed according to the orientation of the five elements. Among them, the middlemost place half was Jason's room, and the other half was the core of the Nine Spirits Chi Gathering Formation, where Lan Yugusin practiced. In a circle of rooms outside the central area, the original five element attribute areas were isolated by the melting saint using formations, and divided into five five element areas with different attributes. The original five element attributes were isolated into separate golden areas. The five attributes of wood, water, fire, and earth can be cultivated by spiritual masters with specialized attributes. Claire, who has a fire attribute, and Temujin, who has an earth attribute, practice in their own attribute rooms. The concentration of elements on the God Transformation Island has reached the highest concentration limit of ten times the outside world. Just like the gold element space set up by the God-killing Nadim, the fastest updated by the Wings Update team, the spiritual master's cultivation speed can reach to an astonishing extent. However, Cassinus and the others who do not belong to the five elements attribute are not so good. They can only practice in other places outside the five element space. Although the spirit 20 element in the air is 10 times the spiritual energy in the outside world, they are still practicing. However, it is not like Claire and the others who can just absorb it directly. Instead, they need to continuously purify it in the process of cultivation and eliminate all other elements before they can absorb their own spirit 20 elements. This efficiency is much lower than Claire and the others. Seeing this situation, Jason secretly remembered it in his heart. On that day, everyone who finally got together had a rare carnival. Jason briefly told about his experience in the Rondo province. As for the matter of the chaos territory, Jason did not say that this case was not Jason treats Lan Yugusin and the others as outsiders, but as a matter of the territory of chaos, the fewer people know about it, the better. That night, everyone was drinking to their heart's content, and bursts of laughter could be heard from time to time above Huashan Island. The next day, just when everyone woke up, they saw a large amount of materials placed in the hall outside the Transformation Island, emitting astonishing spiritual power fluctuations. These experts, looking at Jason's busy figure in the hall, everyone couldn't help but show a trace of doubt on their faces. Master, are these materials used to build some kind of formation? How come there are so many 7th level wind element spiritual cores? There are also these light and dark element, this wind 7th level fantasy element spiritual core. Seeing these materials, Rongxing's face was full of doubts at first, but then he couldn't help being stunned. Master, what are you doing as a 7th level senior alchemist? He already understood what Jason was trying to do. Rong Sheng, here are four drawings of formations. Take them over. Here are all the materials. I have sorted them all. You can construct them. Jason said calmly, and directly took a complicated drawing in his hand. The drawings of the texture were given to Rong Sheng. Wind Spirit Formation, Light and Dark Mandala Formation, Holy Formation of Light, Phantom Sea. Melting Saint read out the names of the four formations word by word. Everyone present was stunned. Jason, what is your formation? Cassinus and others asked with surprise on their faces. 
These four formations are four formations that can respectively extract the elements of air and wind, light and darkness, light and fantasy. As long as these four formations are constructed, you can work with them. We are the same, practicing in a space of pure twenty-element spirit. This will reduce a lot of your time for refining the twenty-element spirit and increase your cultivation speed by at least two to three times. Jason said calmly. Jason had an idea to build these four formations after visiting the mansion yesterday. So early this morning, he went to the core hall early and bought a large amount of the materials needed to build these four formations. Elixir Materials Ghost Ghost after hearing what Jason said, the faces of Cassinus and others present were full of excitement. They were originally practicing on the God Transformation Island that has twenty elements that are ten times more powerful than the outside world, their speed is much faster than the outside world, but it takes them a lot of time to exclude other spirit twenty elements. Now, Jason can actually build such a formation, making their cultivation speed faster than the original basically, it can be improved by two to three times, which made Cassinus and the others couldn't help but be ecstatic. Okay, everyone, I'm going back to practice. Melting Saint, the drawings of the four formations are already in your hands. Although these four formations are quite complex and profound, with your seventh-level advanced alchemy emperor, as long as you are careful about the strength of the master, there will be no problem. After that, Jason walked towards the depths of the mansion. Jason, wait a minute, the accumulated cost of purchasing these materials, Cassinus hurriedly stopped Jason, and at the same time, took out his identity token from his body. These materials in the hall are all some quite noble materials, not to mention the seventh-level spiritual cores alone, especially the light, dark, and illusion spiritual cores, are worth millions of points. Cassinus doesn't want Jay to use them. Sun spends money. On the side, Leonardo, Sophia, the Wings Update team updated the fastest, Dini Shaw and others also took out their tiles one after another. Cassinus, everyone, take your tokens back to an. You don't treat me as a friend. If you give me some points, I can still afford it. Seeing Cassinus and everyone's actions, Jay Sen's face suddenly became serious. These materials cost him nearly 5 million points. This is not a small sum for all the disciples in the Sky City, even the top 10 monsters on the Elixir list, but for someone who has just received a reward of 20,000 points for Jason, it is not a difficult figure to pay. Moreover, after the three super effective healing potions are released by the Elixir Tower, Jason will receive a large number of points every day. Jason does not take this number to heart at all. Superior. Seeing Jason's determined expression, everyone looked at each other, couldn't help but smile bitterly, and could only take back their tokens. Haha, <laughs> let's start work. Rong Sheng was extremely excited. He swept all the sorted materials into his own space ring and began to think about how to build these formations. Although Rong Sheng is a seventh level senior alchemist, this is the first time he has seen these four formations. In order to build these four formations, Rongxing spent a whole day to put the four formations together. All the formation mysteries and material preparation of the formation were completely understood. In the next three days, Melting Saint fully devoted himself to the construction of the formation. The first thing he built was the simplest wind spirit formation for himself and Dinisha to practice. Then he built a slightly more complicated holy light formation for Sophia to practice. Then, he built the raid formation. Leonardo's illusion system pattern, and finally, the light and dark mandala formation used to train Cassinus. The construction of the four formations took him three full days of effort. Finally, on the evening of the third day, Melting Saint completed the construction of all four formations. While Melting Saint was constructing the formation, Jason was completely immersed in practice. Now that there is less than half a year before the genius trials of major forces in the mainland, Jason needs to maximize his strength. When he was in the territory of chaos, Jason was promoted to the 8th level low level emperor spiritual master, and now Jason's goal is to accumulate the 8th level low level spiritual power in his body as soon as possible. 
In this way, Jason fell into the practice of forgetting to sleep and eat. He completely put all distracting thoughts behind his mind and continued to absorb the rich twenty elements of the five element spirit between heaven and earth. Then, under the transformation of the spiritual god art, he absorbed within the body, it becomes its own five element spiritual power. The astonishing and rich five element spiritual power, like a long river of five color spiritual power, continuously washed into Jason's body. The eighth level low level spiritual power in Jason's body increased at an alarming speed. Time is like running water, fleeting, and in the blink of an eye, three months have passed. In the courtyard at the center of Huashan Island, Jason, who had his eyes tightly closed, suddenly stood up. The torrent of five color heroic power dissipated like a long river, and an astonishing coercion continued to dissipate from his body. Ah, uh, Jason exhaled a long breath feeling the astonishing spiritual power in his body. His expression was full of confidence. The wing-spreading update group updated the fastest, and murmured, the eighth-level low-level spiritual power in the body, after such a long period of practice, I finally reached the peak. Three months, a full three months, I did not leave the house, only occasionally came out to see others, and finally, after three months, the body the eighth level low level spiritual power has been cultivated to its peak state. Unless he is promoted to the eighth level intermediate emperor spiritual master, he will never be able to increase his level even a little bit. Let's see what everyone is doing. Jason walked out of his room with a smile on his lips. At this moment, there was a sudden boom. An astonishing spiritual power aura fell from the sky and soared into the sky in a mansion not far away. With the appearance of this spiritual power aura, the spiritual power in that area the aura was all violent, and the cyan wind spiritual power turned into aurora, shining brilliantly in the sky. This wind the vision of heaven and earth, that is the area where the melting saint is. Seeing this amazing movement, Jason's eyes immediately showed a trace of surprise and then his figure suddenly disappeared, flying towards the place where the vision of heaven and earth was produced. Place. Haha, <laughs> it's successful, it's finally successful. I've finally prepared the seventh-level mid-grade violent wind potion. In the mansion, Rongxing held a bottle of elixir that exuded astonishing spiritual power in his hand, and he exclaimed with excitement. Of laughter. Haha, <laughs> melting saint. Congratulations, congratulations, melting saint. On the side, Cassinus and others also showed happy smiles. Rongxing, have you been promoted to the seventh level intermediate elixir, master? When did it happen? At this moment, a voice suddenly sounded in the room, and then, a figure walked in from the door and looked at Rongxing's eyes were full of surprise and confusion. It's Jason, who just came out of seclusion. Jason is quite familiar with Rongcha's attainments in elixir medicine. When he first returned to the elixir master tower, he heard him say that Rongcha had only advanced to the lower seventh level half a year before he came back. The elixir master became the core disciple of the elixir master tower. It had only been three months since he had returned to the spiritual medicine master tower and Jason was suddenly filled with surprise when the Rongxin was able to prepare a seventh-level mid-grade imperial spiritual potion. Jason, who is a ninth-level elixir saint master, naturally understands the violent wind elixir very clearly. Even among the seventh-level mid-level imperial elixir, it is relatively difficult to prepare, but the melting saint is and it was prepared in the eighth month after being promoted to the seventh-level low-level elixir master. This speed is far beyond Jason's understanding of Melting Saint. Jason is aware of the talent of Melting Saint in alchemy. Even if he is now promoted from the 7th level high level alchemy emperor to the 8th level low level alchemy emperor, and his strength has changed by leaps and bounds, Jason will not be surprised, because Melting Saint the alchemy talent he displayed was almost the same as the elixir talent of his senior brother Archimedes. But in terms of elixir science, although Rongxing is considered an incomparable genius, he cannot be said to be the top evildoer on this continent. Master, are you out of seclusion? Hearing the sudden sound in the hall, Rongxing and others immediately looked at the door of the hall, their eyes full of surprise. 
At the entrance of the hall, Jason came to Rongxing in a few steps, Rongxing, show me the violent wind potion you prepared. Rongxing immediately handed the violent wind potion in his hand to Jason. After carefully feeling the violent wind potion, Jason completely believed that Rongxing had advanced to the seventh level intermediate Lingsu Imperial Master. As if sensing Jason's doubts, Rongxing immediately laughed, Master, I have used up all the several opportunities one had to enter the Medicine God Tower in the past three months, so I have been promoted to the seventh level intermediate level. Master of Elixirs Medicine God Tower? Jason couldn't help but have a trace of doubt on his face, I've heard of that place. It seems to be a place where elixir masters are tested on elixirs. However, if you advance to the next level, what does it have to do with the seventh level intermediate elixir master? What to do Rongxing looked at Jason with a hint of speechlessness on his face, Master, this medicine god tower has the function you said of testing elixir knowledge. It tests the talent of the core disciples of Sky City in elixir science, but in addition to this function, it also has the effect of allowing U.S. elixir masters to gain insights into elixir science. Having said this, Rongxing looked at Jason as if he had seen a ghost, Master, don't tell me, have you been a core disciple for so long? Haven't you ever entered the Medicine God Tower? Jason scratched his head. He had also heard of this Medicine God Tower when he first became a core disciple, but I have never been in it. Jason, have you never entered the Medicine God Tower? Seeing Jason's expression, Lanyuigusen and Cassinus were also surprised and looked at Jason with their eyes wide open. Jason Lanyuigusen, Cassinus, what is going on with this Medicine God Tower? When he first became a core disciple, when he heard the name of the Medicine God Tower, he guessed that it was related to the spiritual medicine master. He was still quite curious. Later, he heard someone say that this medicine god tower was used to test the spiritual medicine master level and talent of core disciples, so Jason lost interest. With Jason's attainments in elixir medicine, he naturally knows his elixir master level and talent clearly, so there is no need to go to some medicine god tower to test. He didn't take it to heart at all, and gradually he forgot about it. Seeing that Jason had never entered the medicine god tower, Lanyue Gusen and Cassinus looked at each other and were speechless. Jason, this medicine god tower is a secret realm in our elixir master tower. It can test the elixir master's level and talent. In fact, the elixir master level of each of our core disciples is not prepared according to their respective requirements. It is determined based on the level of the medicine god tower. In addition, in addition to the efficacy of the medicine god tower, any spirit medicine master can learn spiritual medicine after entering the medicine god tower, have a deeper understanding, so the opportunity to enter the medicine god tower is what every core disciple dreams of. Speaking of this, Lan Yugusen looked at Jason and continued, in the spirit medicine master tower, every after a disciple becomes a core disciple, he will have one chance to enter the medicine god tower. If his attainments in elixir medicine do not break through the first level, he will have one more chance. If the spiritual master's strength reaches the eighth level emperor spiritual master, he will have one chance. Every time he improves by one level in the future, each level has an opportunity. In addition to spiritual medicine and spiritual master levels, if you have expertise in other areas, you will also be given the opportunity to enter the medicine god tower. In addition, if a core disciple wants to, to enter the medicine god tower, you can only redeem it with points. Every 5 million points can be exchanged for one opportunity. Other than that, there is no other way. Like Rongxing, he becomes a core disciple and has the opportunity to enter the Medicine God Tower once. Opportunity, he was promoted to the 8th level low-level emperor, spiritual master, not long ago, and also has an opportunity to enter the Medicine God Tower. In addition, he has an amazing talent in alchemy, and was given an additional opportunity to enter the Medicine God Tower. Among these three in the middle of the month, he entered the Medicine God Tower three times in a row and gained an astonishing understanding of elixir science, which is why he broke through to the seventh-level intermediate elixir master. Now that he has broken through to the intermediate level, 
he will be given another chance. As you said, you have become a core disciple once and promoted to the 8th level low level imperial spiritual master once. I don't know what your current elixir master level is. I heard that when you were in Elixir City, you once accidentally prepared an elixir. A bottle of 8th level imperial elixir. If you count the 8th level low level elixir emperor, then you will be promoted to the 7th level intermediate elixir emperor once, the advanced level once, and the 8th level low level elixir emperor once. A total of three times, combined with the previous two times, then, now you have five opportunities to enter the medicine god tower. Under Jason's doubtful gaze, Lan Yu Gusen told the information about the medicine god tower exactly. So that's it. This medicine god tower, in addition to testing the level of the elixir master, can also allow the elixir master to have a deeper understanding of elixir medicine. Jason murmured in the hall, with a hint of joy in his eyes. With an expression on his face, he became interested in the medicine god tower. By the way, Lan Yuigusen, how many levels are there in this medicine god tower? Jason asked again. This medicine god tower has a total of 30 floors. Among them, the first to third floors are the measurement range of the 10th level elixir, and the fourth to sixth floors are the measurement range of the first level elixir disciples. They respectively represent the low, middle, and high levels of the elixir disciples. Levels 7 to 9 are the calculation range of second level elixir masters, which also represent the low, middle, and high levels of elixir masters, respectively. By analogy, 10 to 12 are elixir masters, and 13 to 15 are elixir masters. Masters 16 to 18 are elixir masters, 19 to 21 are elixir masters, 22 to 24 are elixir emperor masters. 25 to 27 are Elixir Emperor Masters, those between 28 and 30 are Holy Medicine Masters. However, it is said that above the 30 level level, there is also the 31st level, which represents the 10th level Medicine God, so it is called the Medicine God Tower. However, no one has reached it. Yes, so no one knows whether it really exists. For example, I am now an 8th level Intermediate Elixir Master. I have entered the 26th floor, but I have not been able to break through. If I can break through to the 27th floor, this means that I will be promoted to the 8th level of Advanced Elixir Emperor. Lan Yu Gusen explained in detail. So accurate? Jason frowned and said, Can the real boat detect the true level of each Elixir Master? Jason expressed doubts in his heart. Of course. Lan Yu Gusen said, at least in the current history of the Medicine God Tower, there has never been an error in the appraisal of the Medicine God Tower. Interesting, interesting. Listening to Lan Yu Gusen's explanation, Jason became completely curious. He wanted to know which level he could get to if he went for a test. It is true that Jason's attainments in elixir medicine are too mixed. Currently, his level in technical elixir medicine is the ninth level low level elixir Saint Master and his level in spiritual consciousness elixir medicine is the 8th level low-level elixir emperor. Master, Avogadro's law calculates that the level of spiritual medicine is about 8 levels. So, can this medicine god tower really calculate his true level of spiritual medicine? Which level of spiritual medicine is displayed? Jason was very curious. Moreover, in that class, in the medicine god tower, you will have a deeper understanding of the spiritual medicine master's attainments in spiritual medicine, and what kind of improvement can you make? Thinking of this, a glimmer of light flashed in Jason's eyes, and he had already made up his mind. Let's go, Lan Yu Gusen, wherever this medicine god tower is, I want to break into this medicine god tower. In the hall, Jason laughed loudly. You want to break into the medicine god tower? Master? Are you going to break into the medicine god tower? In the hall, after hearing Jason's words, Rong Sheng and others also became excited, and they were very excited about Jason's attainments in spiritual medicine. They were extremely convinced and very curious to know which level Jason could reach if he broke into the medicine god tower. Let's go, master, I'll take you there. Melting Saint was the first to shout, 
while Laniwagusen and Cassinus also had eagerness to try in their eyes. Before Jason went to the Rondo province to perform his mission, the two of them had often discussed spiritual medicine with Jason. They had great admiration for Jason's profound knowledge of spiritual medicine. Currently, the entire core disciples of the spiritual medicine master tower in the game, Laniwagusen broke through to the highest number of floors, which was the 26th floor, while Cassinus and Edmas followed closely behind, which was the 25th floor. They wanted to know how Jason could break through. Which layer can equal or break the number of layers of Blue Moon Gusen? Immediately, with excitement in their hearts, a large group of Jason's people flew out of the Island of Transformations in a mighty manner, heading towards the city in the sky. City in the Sky, Core Palace. It is afternoon, the most comfortable time of the day. Many free core disciples like to gather in the core hall at this time to have some exchanges and talk to each other about the difficulties they have encountered in cultivation, and big things happened in Sky City recently. Whether it is in the square outside the main hall or in the hall inside the main hall, there are a large number of core disciples communicating and asking each other for news. Now, three full months have passed since the battle between Jason and Edmits, but the impact of that battle has still not been eliminated on many core disciples, widely praised. In addition, there are the genius trials of the major forces in the mainland. As time goes by, there are only less than three months left before the trial. All the disciples are very concerned about it, and those core disciples who were in the top 20 on the last elixir list and qualified for the trial are in the final sprint and accumulation. Just when all the core disciples were talking to each other, suddenly whoosh. All the disciples felt their breath suffocate and hurriedly looked towards the direction where the sound of breaking through the sky came from. With eyes filled with surprise, nine figures with various colors of light flowing from Yaoji in the distance instantly came to the sky above the square and landed on the square. Its senior brother Jason and the others. Senior sister Laniwagusen and senior brother Cassinus are here. And the guardians of the Sky City are all nine people living on the Island of Transformations. The appearance of Jason and others immediately attracted the attention of countless disciples in the square and they started talking. You can't blame them for being so gossipy. Jason and his group have Blue Moon Goosen, who ranks first on the elixir list, Cassinus who ranks second, and Jason, who although not ranked high, is definitely capable of entering the top three. Masters, these three people can be said to represent the most elite force among the core disciples of the Spirit Medicine Master Tower. Their appearance will naturally attract the attention of countless people. Faced with the discussions from many disciples, Jason and others walked directly into the core hall without any expression on their faces. Quick, follow up and see what senior brother Jason and the others are planning to do. Someone in the crowd suddenly spoke up. Immediately, many core disciples who had been standing in the square and communicating with each other poured into the core hall with curiosity on their faces all afternoon. Haha, <laughs> Laniwagusen, Jason, Cassinus, I haven't seen you for a long time. Do you need anything to come to the core hall, this time? Upon hearing the arrival of Jason and the others, Mingxi and others immediately walked out of the core hall. Welcome everyone. Mingxi, we want to break into the Medicine God Tower, take us to the teleportation array. Laniwagusen said directly. You want to break into the Medicine God Tower? Mingxi was stunned, and then his eyes passed over the faces of Jason and other people, and finally fell on Jason. He smiled on his face, I understand, you guys come with me. For Lan Yu Gusen and his group, breaking into the Medicine God Tower is not something special. In the past three months, they have broken through the Melting Saint alone three times, but none of them was as grand and sensational as today. Yes, Mingxi thought for a moment and instantly understood the protagonist of this team. In Mingxi's impression, Jason, who has unparalleled attainments in spiritual medicine, has never broken through the medicine god tower. It seems that he is the protagonist today, and only he can have such influence. Lan Yu Gusen and a large group of people followed. Under the leadership of Protector Mingxi, everyone quickly arrived at a large hall, deep in the core hall. 
The decoration of the entire hall was quite simple, but on the floor, there were deep formations outlined. It is a teleportation array. Jason and the other nine people all walked into the teleportation array. As the staff opened the teleportation array, a misty white light instantly enveloped Jason and the others. The white light dissipated, and Jason and the other nine people had disappeared. Protector Mingxi, I want to break into the Medicine God Tower. Protector Mingxi, I also want to break into the Medicine God Tower. Protector Mingxi, let's go and have a look. Just as Jason and the others disappeared finally, the large group of core disciples following Jason all shouted, and they also wanted to see what Jason and his group were doing. In fact, if Jason were alone, or if Lan Yugusen and the others came to the core hall alone, it would not cause such a big sensation, but Jason and the nine of them all showed up, making everyone feel full of joy. Curious. Of course, Protector Mingxi would not refuse the normal requests of the core disciples in front of him, so a large number of core disciples entered the teleportation array and were teleported to the Medicine God Tower one after another. When countless core disciples were teleporting to the Medicine God Tower, Protector Mingxi hurriedly called several nearby staff members and gave them some instructions in a low voice. The staff members nodded repeatedly, and after Protector Mingxi finished giving his instructions, they hurried out of the teleportation hall one by one. This Jason's identity is really special. Elder Waterfield asked the other party to inform him whenever he makes any move. In addition, the master of our core hall, Elder Sevlin, also ordered everyone around the teleportation formation to do so. Protector Mingxi shook his head, looked at the noisy teleportation array, and muttered, in the more than two years since Jason became a core disciple, there have been so many big things, but his talent is indeed amazing. I wonder which level he will be able to reach this time when he breaks into the Medicine God Tower. Recalling the scene when Jason had just become a core disciple, under his leadership, he frantically solved problems and racked up points in the help area of the core hall. Protector Mingxi was also full of expectations for Jason breaking into the Medicine God Tower. Protector Mingxi can be regarded as an old protector of Sky City, but he has never met a person. In just over two years, he went from being a core disciple who just joined Sky City to becoming the most powerful disciple in the entire core palace. The top core disciple, with such talent and potential, makes Protector Mingxi, who is used to seeing geniuses, full of emotion. In today's Elixir Tower, only senior sister Lanyue Gusen can be compared with Jason. As for Cassinus and Edmas, whose reputation is below Jason. This is a mysterious area in the Elixir Tower space. It is surrounded by clouds and mist. The endless clouds and mist seem to form an ocean that is constantly undulating. And in in the deepest part of the clouds and mist, there is a tall tower that towers into the sky. The entire tower is like a floating fortress, looming in the clouds and mist, giving people an inexplicable sense of mystery. On the gate in front of the tower, there is a huge plaque, the words Medicine God Tower. Were written on it, bringing endless mystery and shock. Right in front of the tower, there was a square, and two elixir masters exuding powerful spiritual power were standing in the square, looking at this tower, as tall as the sky is the two core disciples of the core hall. In front of these two people, in front of the steps of the Medicine God Tower, stood an old man wearing a black robe, his eyes were like stars, which made people look up and couldn't help but fall deeply into it. Huh? Suddenly, a gleam flashed in his eyes. The originally closed door of the Medicine God Tower rumbled open, and a figure flew out of the door. Walgaboo, you finally came out, how about this time? When they saw the figure standing in the square, the two core disciples suddenly laughed. It's still on the 24th floor, but it's much better than the last time. I feel that this time I go back and study the insights I gained in the Medicine God Tower. Within a month or two, I should be able to advance to the 7th floor. He is now a high-level elixir master. Bargaba said with a smile. Oh? That's good. His two friends looked at each other and laughed. Let's go, since the three of us have made it through, let's go back. Bargab said. 
Okay. Immediately, the three people walked towards the teleportation array in the upper left corner of the square. At this moment. In the upper right corner of the square, the originally peaceful teleportation array suddenly lit up. Nine figures appeared in the teleportation array, and the leader was Jason. It's senior sister Lan Wigusen, senior brother Jason, and senior brother, Cassinus. Are they also coming to break into the medicine god tower? Dalgabu and the other three stopped immediately, with a hint of curiosity on their faces. Blue Moon Ancient Curtain, are you coming to break into the medicine god tower again? On the stone steps, the originally silent old man in black robe smiled and rarely spoke. Brother Yerudi, Changue, it's not me who wants to break into the medicine god tower, it's my friend Jason who wants to break in. Lan Yu Gusen stepped forward and smiled. Oh? Are you that Jason? I've heard about you. The old man looked at Jason and smiled. Jason felt the other person's eyes spinning like stars which actually made his mind feel confused and dizzy. Elder brother Arudi is so powerful. Jason shook his head suddenly to get rid of the dizziness. At the same time, he was shocked by the strength of elder brother Arudi. Among the four elders of the spiritual medicine master tower, Jason has met three before, elder Waterfield, the ninth-level low-level Holy Spirit master, and elders Kevlin and Chittick, the eighth-level peak emperor spiritual master. This Yalu, this was the first time he had met Elder Brother D, but in Jason's opinion, Elder Brother Yalu was much stronger than Elder Waterfield. Jason, Elder Brother Arudi is the most powerful among the four elders of our spirit medicine tower. He is a ninth-level intermediate Holy Spirit Master. However, Elder Arudi does not care about anything. He only protects the medicine god tower, don't look at him always keeping a straight face, but elder brother Yalu is actually very good. Lan Yubgusen said with a smile. Haha, girl, don't flatter me. The old man in black robe laughed. I've met elder brother Arudi. Jason stepped forward and said. Well, it just so happens that there is no one in the medicine god tower right now. You can go in. Elder brother Yurudi said. Squeak. The originally closed door of the medicine god tower suddenly opened. Jason nodded, and with curiosity in his heart, it turned into a stream of light and flew into the dark medicine god tower. Boom. The grand door closed instantly. Boom. The door of the medicine god tower closed with a bang. Jason stood in the medicine god tower and carefully observed everything around him. What appeared in front of him was an empty hall, with nothing in it, silent without a trace of sound, like a closed forbidden room, and it was not the room at the bottom of the tower with stairs as he had imagined. What exactly is in this medicine god tower? Jason was puzzled. Just as he was looking around, the scenery in front of Jason suddenly changed. The originally empty and quiet hall turned into a white light. Nothing can be seen clearly in this area, just nothingness. Is this? Illusion? Just when Jason was confused in his heart, suddenly, a majestic voice sounded in Jason's ears. The assessment on the first level of the medicine god tower begins. As the words fell, the scenery in front of Jason showed off to the side. Some individuals with different shapes and colors appeared in front of Jason. After these individuals appeared in front of Jason, they immediately blended and combined with each other, overlapping and combining to form different individuals. Some individuals repel each other, and some individuals attract each other, and after each different type of individuals combine, they form the new individuals are also different. Seeing this familiar scene, Jason's expression was stunned for a moment. Then, his eighth-level low-level spiritual consciousness instantly dispersed and he sensed the changes among these individuals. With this perception, Jason's expression suddenly changed. Completely stunned. Excelled isn't this the first level of the Elixir Medicine Master Competition in the Northwest Countries, a test of the true meaning of elixirs? It's no wonder that Jason felt familiar with the scene in front of him. The first test at the Elixir Medicine Competition in the Northwest Countries, 
the test of the true meaning of elixirs, was basically the same as the scene in front of him. That competition was also where Jason came. The first rise of the world had a profound impact on Jason's heart. The individuals of different shapes in front of Jason at this moment represent the combination of various elements in the preparation process of the elixir. However, although the two are extremely similar, in the eyes of Jason, a master of elixir, they are still the same. There is a slight difference. The current test on the first level of the Medicine God Tower is much less difficult than the first of the six levels of the test on the true meaning of elixir. Since these different individuals in front of us are reacting directly to the various elements in the preparation of the elixir, then in the void space, Jason's eyes flashed, and his powerful eighth-level spiritual consciousness instantly dissipated. Quickly control these elemental factors. Back then, when Jason was taking the elixir true essence test for the first time, he made a mistake because of carelessness. Now, Jason would naturally not make such a mistake again. Chi Chi. Under the control of Jason's powerful strength, the elemental factors in the space quickly merged together, and the entire combination was completed in an instant. Just when Jason combined these elements together, boom. The original elemental factors of the changing scene in front of Jason dissipated instantly. At the same time, some individuals with different shapes and colors appeared in the void. Although the number, size, and color of these individuals are not much different from the previous ones, with Jason's powerful elixir knowledge, he can naturally find that the elements that appear this time are slightly different from before, and the integration of them the difficulty is also a bit greater, but for Jason, it is still nothing. Is the assessment of this medicine god tower the assessment of the true meaning of elixir? No, the true meaning of elixir can only be regarded as a part of elixir science, and it shouldn't be that simple. Looking at the scattered elemental factors in front of him, Jason's heart consider. At this moment, the second level assessment of the medicine god tower has begun. Another voice full of pressure sounded in Jason's ears again. Jason immediately held his breath and retracted his thoughts and the powerful spiritual consciousness of the eighth-level low-level instantly dissipated, controlling these elemental factors and quickly integrating them. When Jason was breaking into the Medicine God Tower, somewhere deep in the Medicine God Tower, a staff member was standing respectfully in front of Elder Titfield. Then Jason went to break into the Medicine God Tower? And it was the first time he broke into the Medicine God Tower after becoming a core disciple? Elder Titfield showed a strange smile on his face, and whispered, This little guy has always been bad. It's shocking to death. In terms of strength, apart from Lan Yugusin, among the core disciples of our core hall, probably no one can match him. In terms of spiritual medicine, I have never seen him show it. I don't know what he can do. How many floors to enter? Is the 8th level low level elixir emperor equivalent to the 24th level of the 7th level high level elixir emperor, or is it the same as Cassinus and Edmas, representing the 8th level low level elixir emperor? The 25th floor? The two deputy tower masters asked me to pay close attention to Jason's knowledge of elixirs, and I just took the opportunity to take a closer look. Elder Waterfield smiled, and then immediately rushed to the elixir. The Location of the Divine Tower Elder Sevlin, Master Cornelios of the Law Enforcement Hall, Master Pastor of the Core Hall, Master Baptista of the Management Hall, Master Alphonsus of the Assessment Hall, and others, the entire Elixir Tower is almost full of people. Some palace masters, guardians, etc., who were often out and about arrived at the Medicine God Tower space one after another after receiving the news. In the square of the Medicine God Tower space, Elder Coughlin and many other powerful figures from the Medicine God Tower gathered together. In addition, there were also a large number of core disciples who had received the news. They also gathered in the square and saw Elder Waterfield. After everyone appeared one by one, their faces were filled with surprise. These people are the real people in charge of the Alchemist Tower. In the Alchemist Tower where the Tower Master and Deputy Tower Master do not appear, they almost represent everything about the Alchemist Tower. 
However, now, just because of Jason, a core disciple, the usual way to break into the medicine god tower was to attract them all, which made countless core disciples sigh with emotion. If I can be as eye-catching as senior brother Jason and cause such a big sensation, then my life will be worth it. Many core disciples looked at Lan Yugusin and the group of people, and their hearts were filled with excitement. Envious. Haha, <laughs> brother Yaludi, there are so many people. Elder Kevland smiled and looked in front of Brother Yaludi, the guardian of the Medicine God Tower. Elder Kevlin, who asked you to bring an outstanding disciple, like Jason, to our spiritual Medicine Master Tower. Alphonsus, the master of the assessment hall, said with a smile, This Jason, in just two years, is from a core disciple who just entered the Sky City, he grew into one of the most powerful disciples in the entire core palace. His talent as a spiritual master is something that is rare in our spiritual medicine master tower where many geniuses are born. As for his talent in elixir science, no one knew about it, which made everyone very curious. No, until Jason wanted to break into the medicine god tower, I immediately came to wait for the results. Yes, when I reported Jason's situation last time, even the two deputy tower masters were very concerned about Jason's talent in elixir science and I can't neglect him. Elder Titfield also smiled. Stand up. This Jason seems to have touched the hearts of our entire spiritual medicine master tower. On the steps in front of the medicine god tower, Elder Brother Yaludi showed a rare smile and looked at the large group of guardians in the square. Medium, a core disciple, broke into the medicine god tower. Three of the four elders of our spiritual medicine master tower came, and six of the ten hall masters came. I think the remaining elder Chittick and the other hall masters were also dispatched. I have been guarding the medicine god tower for more than two hundred years, and this seems to be the first time I have seen this situation. Kevlin, you have really found a person. Honey, if this trend continues, this Jason has gone straight to pursue Lan Yugusin and become one of the true core disciples of our spiritual medicine master tower. The master of the core hall pastor said. He said the words real core disciples very seriously, and the others naturally understood what he meant. The core disciples he meant were the successor disciples who could inherit the pagoda of the spiritual medicine master. You are really optimistic about Jason. Management Palace Baptista laughed. During the elixir ranking competition, Jason and Edmitz fought, didn't you also think highly of Jason? It was the first time. Didn't Jason later tell me with his actions that my vision was wrong? Pastor smiled and said, everyone, tell me, which level can Jason get through this time? At least the 24th floor, I heard that Jason was able to prepare 7th level high-grade imperial elixirs when he was in the elixir city, before he became a core disciple so it should be no problem to enter the 24th floor. I think it must be the 25th level. This Jason's habit is surprising. Now he has been promoted to the 8th level low-level imperial spiritual master. His attainments and elixirs are the same as those of Caminus and others. He has reached the 8th level low-level elixirs. Emperor master is still very possible. 25th level? Didn't I hear that he had already prepared an 8th level emperor level elixir when he was dueling with Paltero's elixir in the elixir city? In my opinion, it's not certain that he can break into the 26th floor. 26th floor? This is unlikely. When Jason prepared the 8th level emperor level elixir, he did not prepare it himself, but because of Paltero's oppression and because he absorbed the 7th level elixir of Paltro. The 8th level emperor level he advanced to after the top grade mad gold potion is not his own strength. I also think it is the 25th level, 26th level, which is equivalent to the 8th level intermediate elixir emperor level. Of all the core disciples in our elixir master tower, only Lan Yugusin and the entire 8th level intermediate elixir emperor have entered this level, and they have not yet been able to break through. Then Jason is the 8th level low-level emperor spiritual master, after all, it should be unlikely to enter the 26th floor. Elder Savlin, tell me. Waterfield and others all made prophecies freely. The stronger Jason is, the better it will be for their elixir tower, so everyone was having a good time talking. 
It seems that the vast majority are on the 25th floor. Elder Coughlin said with a smile, as for Jason's attainments in spiritual medicine, I only know that it is extremely amazing. As for how strong it is, I don't know. Everyone can still see. Come on. Brother Yaludi, please synchronize the pictures in the Medicine God Tower to us. Elder Waterfield spoke up. Brother Arudi nodded. Suddenly, a picture appeared in everyone's mind. It was the scene of Jason in the Medicine God Tower. Brother Arudi is the guardian of the Medicine God Tower, can watch the scene in the Medicine God Tower, and can also transmit the scene to Elder Waterfield and the others, but like other core disciples, they can only listen to the number of Jason's floor reported by them. Oh, Jason has already reached the 22nd floor. Tittlefield and others all shut up and carefully watched Jason's movements on the 22nd floor. The 22nd floor represents the 7th level low level elixir master. From the speed of getting through this level, generally you can see the disciples' attainments in elixir science. In the 22nd floor, a large number of elemental factors representing elixir elements filled the entire space, tightly surrounding Jason and at the same time, a large number of elemental factors representing elixir elements filled the entire space. Powerful mental fluctuations were constantly impacting Jason's mind. This is an assessment of the spiritual power of the elixir, that is, the spiritual consciousness, and the laws of spiritual power in the air. In the assessment of the law perception of the seventh-level imperial spiritual master, these elixir element factors contain amazing spiritual power. It is much more difficult to move than at the 21st level. This is a test of the spiritual power of the Elixir Master. Strength Assessment Feeling everything in the 22nd floor of the Medicine God Tower, after such a long time, Jason's heart became clear. At the beginning, the tests in the Northwest countries only tested the Elixir Master's understanding of the true meaning of elixirs. However, this medicine god pagoda tests all aspects of a elixir master. All aspects are tested, and its difficulty is higher than that in the Northwest. The original test of the true meaning of the elixir in various countries turned out to be much more difficult. What surprised Jason even more was that although the medicine god tower tested the spiritual master's attainments in all aspects, when he used Avogadro's law and technique to flow spiritual medicine, it was also effective. This made Jason Mori was filled with shock. The Medicine God Tower assesses all aspects of spiritual medicine masters, including spiritual consciousness, spiritual power, law perception, and mental strength. None of them fell short. However, when Jason was on the fourth to sixth floors, he completely recovered his spiritual consciousness and spiritual power. When using physical strength and technical flow to control the fusion of elemental factors, he also successfully passed the three levels. Later, Jason used the calculation method of Avogadro's law for fusion, and the result was also effective. Jason was extremely shocked. He didn't understand who set up this medicine god tower, and it could actually connect to his technology. Luling Medicine can identify it and pass it, which makes him feel a little confused. However, in the subsequent preparation, Jason did not use the technical flow or Avogadro's law, because he found that in the Medicine God Tower, the best preparation method was the spiritual consciousness flow. In the process of breaking through the level, there is a kind of tempering and sublimation of the spiritual medicine master's preparation of the flow of spiritual consciousness, and I can feel everything about myself in detail. Combine this with this, and then add this in the Medicine God Tower. Jason concentrated his energy, and the powerful 8th level low level spiritual consciousness spread throughout the void space. Under his control, he quickly moved the people in front of him. Those elements with different shapes and chaotic colors are combined together, just like operating something familiar and no longer familiar. The whole movement is smooth and full of beauty. The feeling of having perfect control over the elixir filled Jason's heart with comfort. At the same time, during the preparation process, Jason also deliberately felt every step of the process. He did not say that he could not wait to complete the preparation just to break through the level, but felt the combination of the elixir and the elixir, 
and the mutual fusion of the elements, metamorphosis, reorganization. Jason was deeply intoxicated by it, and his whole body had been completely integrated into the elemental reaction. Every step was combined with the technical flow in Jason's mind, confirmed one by one, and complemented each other, allowing him to flow in the spiritual consciousness flow. In terms of aspects, a complete reorganization was carried out and it was completely sublimated. Booming Jinglong Finally, under Jason's careful and complete preparation, all the various elemental factors were combined together, and the preparation was completed. Break through the 22nd floor It took so long to get through the 22nd floor, which represents the 7th level low-level imperial spiritual master. I guess Jason wants to break into the 25th floor, which is the 8th level low-level elixir emperor master, Xian. Yeah. Tittlefield and others watched the screen and commented, but soon they fell silent. The preparation of the 23rd floor is still at the stage of the imperial elixir. However, in terms of understanding of elemental laws, spiritual impact, spiritual consciousness control, spiritual strength, etc., the 22nd floor has improved. Jason is also in after carefully feeling each element fusion process, the preparation is completed. 23rd floor, past. The 24th level represents the preparation of the 7th level advanced elixir master level. It has made greater improvements in terms of understanding of elemental laws, spiritual impact, spiritual consciousness control, spiritual strength, etc. Jason has also improved carefully feel every step of the preparation process, and finally complete the preparation completely. Floor 24, past. On the 25th floor, Huisen finally entered the level of the 8th level elixir emperor master. The original 7th level spiritual impact instantly turned into an 8th level imperial bombardment, even with a hint of soul shock. In terms of understanding of the laws of elements, he has also entered another level. The control of spiritual consciousness and the intensity of spiritual power have also been greatly improved. This allows Jason, who is an 8th level low level imperial spiritual master, to rely entirely on spiritual consciousness and spiritual medicine. Preparing it felt a bit difficult. However, Jason, who had already reached the level of an 8th level low level elixir master in terms of spiritual consciousness and spiritual medicine, still completed the preparation after exerting all his strength in spiritual consciousness and spiritual medicine. During this process, Jason's knowledge of spiritual consciousness flow and spiritual medicine has been greatly refined and sublimated. Floor 25, Past On the steps in front of the Medicine God Tower Waterfield was waiting for those who could pass the high-level mission of the Medicine God Tower and see the situation in the Medicine God Tower, they were all shocked by the images in their minds, their eyes full of horror and disbelief. This Jason suddenly broke through the 25th floor and entered the 26th floor, which represents the 8th level intermediate elixir emperor master. Is it possible? When Jason first joined the elixir master tower, he was a 6th level senior spiritual master and a 6th level senior elixir master. However, in just over 2 years and less than 3 years, Jason's strength has grown by leaps and bounds promoted from the 6th level high level to the 8th level low level, and became the most powerful core disciple in the core hall. In addition to the elixir science, he also passed the 25th level representing the 8th level low level elixir emperor master, and entered the 8th level representative level. The 26th level of the intermediate spiritual medicine imperial master. You must know that Jason is an 8th level low level imperial spiritual master. Oh my god, this Jason has really entered the 26th floor? How is that possible? Why is the progress so fast? He is an 8th level low level emperor, spiritual master. In our spiritual medicine master tower, Cassinus and Edmas are not geniuses among geniuses, but they are 8th level emperors at the peak. Spiritual masters have not yet been able to break through to the 26th level. But Jason, who is an 8th level low level imperial spiritual master, has broken through and passed terrible. It's too scary, this Jason is simply abnormal. Waterfield and others were frightened. 
Jason's knowledge of elixirs and the speed of his promotion have surpassed the category of peerless genius and even surpassed the concept of monster. It should be said it was a monster, a pervert. A monster bigger than anyone imagined. In terms of geniuses, the people in the elixir tower are all geniuses. In terms of monsters, those who can enter the elixir list can be called monsters, and Edmus and Cassinus are the monsters among monsters. As for Lan Yu Gusen, can already be called a monster, occupying the top spot on the elixir list for more than 10 years. But after seeing the current Jason, Waterfield and the others understood that in terms of the speed of progress after entering the Elixir Master Tower, this Jason was still above the Blue Moon Goosen, even worse. In the Medicine God Tower, Jason was still trying his best to prepare the medicine using the flow of spiritual consciousness. Is it possible that he can still break through the 26th floor of the Medicine God Tower? This Jason is stronger than the average 8th level peak emperor, spiritual master. His 5 element spiritual power can indeed reach the level of the 26th floor, but the 8 level, there must be a limit to low level spiritual consciousness, mental power, and soul strength, right? Among the core disciples of our Elixir Master Tower, the Elixir Master has the highest level, Lan Yugusen, who has reached the 8th level intermediate Elixir Master. None of them have been able to break through the 26th floor. In terms of strength, Lan Yugusen is far superior to the Emperor Spirit Master of the 8th level Thief Peak, and is no weaker than Jason. Can Jason still break through? This is impossible. Elder Waterfield and the others completely held their breath, and all the disciples were completely stunned when they looked at the number of floors displayed above the Medicine God Tower. The space square of the Medicine God Tower was completely silent, and no one spoke. Elder Waterfield and the others were watching the scene in their minds of Jason breaking through to the 26th floor, while many disciples were all staring at the Medicine God Tower. The number of layers shown above. In the space on the 26th floor of the Medicine God Tower, Jason's control over the elemental factors of the surrounding elixirs has reached the extreme. A lot of sweat oozed from his forehead. His 8th level low level perception was constantly manipulating and analyzing, but he was still too busy. As Elder Waterfield and others guessed, Jason's 5 element spiritual power has indeed reached the 26th level. A soul at the peak of the 9th level is naturally not afraid of the impact of the mental and soul power of the 8th level intermediate strength. The elements' his understanding of laws is more than the 26th level but his spiritual consciousness is only at the 8th level of low level, and has not reached the 8th level of intermediate level. Even Lan Yugusen, who is the 8th level of intermediate elixir master, has if he failed to break through the 26th floor, how could he break through? If one item in the preparation of spiritual consciousness liquid medicine is not good enough, it will cause the entire preparation to completely collapse. At this moment, Jason could no longer control the fusion of a large number of elixir factors based on his spiritual knowledge and elixir alone. Just when Jason's preparation was about to get out of control. Boom. Avogadro's law was running at high speed in Jason's mind. At this moment, he unlocked the limitations of formulating spiritual medicine based on spiritual consciousness alone, and integrated Avogadro's law into the preparation. The preparation that was about to collapse quickly returned to stability. Jason's expression was solemn, sensing every step of the reaction process, and he fell into the preparation again. Jason wanted to see which level of the Medicine God Tower he could really reach by releasing all his strength. In the Medicine God Tower As soon as Avogadro's law came out, the elixir factors that had previously been extremely laborious and difficult to control quickly returned to stability. Data streams flashed through Jason's mind, including the locations of the elixir factors in front of him. Color, size attributes, status, any aspect, are all turned into pieces of data, which Jason brought into Avogadro's Law for calculation. Avogadro's Law is a school that purely uses calculation as a preparation method. As long as any aspect reflected in the preparation process of the elixir is converted into data according to a special method, and then brought into the law to calculate, the results will be obtained, 
and then the results will be converted into operations. The entire process requires very little physical, spiritual knowledge, and spiritual power of the elixir master. The only requirement is powerful computing power. The reason why Jason felt struggling at the beginning was that he only had an 8th level low level spiritual consciousness, which could not reach the intensity required for the 26th level. That kind of powerful controllability, a large number of interactions between each other. The combination of the elixir factors made him confused and overwhelmed. But once Avogadro's law is used, all aspects required for preparation remain unchanged, but the reliance on Jason's spiritual consciousness has weakened a lot, making Jason feel relieved. Originally, Jason was walking forward as if he was holding an iron ball that reached the limit of his body. The weight of the iron ball had reached the limit of Jason's physical strength. But when Avogadro's law came out, the size of the iron ball, the difficulty of the road, none of these have changed, but the originally solid iron ball seemed to suddenly become hollow, making Jason instantly feel comfortable. A large number of elixir factors were quickly integrated under Jason's control. The understanding of the law that represented the eighth-level intermediate elixir emperor master continuously washed into Jason's body, benefiting Jason greatly. In Jason's mind, Avogadro's law kept flashing a large amount of data, like a torrent, rushing through Jason's mind, constantly bringing Avogadro's law 1080 among the formulas, the first thousand that Jason understood were calculated and distinguished. With continuous calculations, Jason's mind became clearer and clearer, and a kind of enlightenment emerged in his heart. Suddenly boom! As if a ray of light pierced the darkness before dawn, Jason felt that in his mind, a ray of wisdom suddenly lit up, and this ray of light penetrated his mind. All the formulas in Avogadro's law rushed out of his mind crazily. These formulas were connected together to form perfect reincarnations. In the Medicine God Tower, Jason's eyes suddenly widened, and his eyes showed a light of surprise, like a sudden enlightenment. So that's it, that's it. Jason roared with suppressed joy in his heart. When he was on the stairs of the Divine Medicine Hall, Jason only calculated the thousandth point of Avogadro's law. I couldn't understand the next eighty formulas, but now, in this medicine god tower, Jason's mind was clearer than ever before. He actually understood the 1001 of Avogadro's laws, and based on these 1001, and constant calculations, I have completely understood the first 30 of the last 80 of Avogadro's laws. Boom! At this moment, Jason, who was on the 26th floor of the Medicine God Tower, could not care less about the joy in his heart. He immediately controlled all the remaining elixir factors and quickly fused them together. Just like a fish swimming back to the sea, an eagle flew up. The sky was clear, Jason's mind was filled with clarity, and the elixir factors were quickly fused together. Finally, under Jason's control, they were perfectly prepared and completely fused together. Boom! 26th floor. Pass. On the 26th floor, my Avogadro's law has been broken. Jason murmured, with surprise in his eyes. Feeling the mysterious law integrated into his mind, this represents the eighth level of spiritual consciousness and spiritual medicine. What are the rules and insights of the intermediate level elixir master? It is indeed much more difficult than the eighth level low level master I am now. If I rely solely on spiritual knowledge and spiritual elixirs, I can't pass it at all. But in the face of Avogadro's law, it's not a hurdle that can't be overcome. Jason carefully reviewed the rules and insights he felt during the entire process of breaking the level. The smoothness of spiritual control deeply reflected this feeling in his mind. This will be the best guide for him to advance to the 8th level intermediate elixir emperor in the future after he breaks through the 8th level intermediate spiritual master. It will allow him to break through the 8th level intermediate elixir in a very short time. Imperial Master Boom. In the space where the preparation was originally completed, the scene changed again, and a large number of elixir factors reappeared, forming a new preparation process. 27th Level Assessment, Start Looking at the large number of complicated and mysterious elixir element factors in front of him, 
Jason's eyes had a trace of desire and a trace of madness, and the astonishing fighting spirit came from his eyes. Continuous release fills the entire space. The 27th floor represents the 8th level high level elixir emperor master. If we say that at the 26th floor, Jason, who is the 8th level low level elixir emperor master, can still barely use the spiritual consciousness flow. If the spiritual medicine is prepared, then on the 27th floor, the spiritual bombardment that faintly turns into a faint soul impact, the powerful spiritual power, the amazing mysterious laws Jason simply relies on his spiritual consciousness flow. I'm afraid I can't maintain my pharmaceutical attainments at all. However, there was no intention of retreating in Jason's eyes, and there was only boundless fighting spirit. Let's begin. Jason whispered in his heart. The powerful 8th level low level spiritual consciousness and the five elements of spiritual power were dissipated. The spiritual consciousness flow and Avogadro's law were simultaneously used to control the more difficult elixir factors in front of him. Break through the 27th floor, which represents the level of the 8th level advanced elixir emperor. In front of the space steps of medicine god tower. Elder Waterfield and others sensed in their minds that Jason suddenly showed his power when he was about to fail. He controlled the elixir factor that was about to dissipate again, and then completely completed the preparation. Almost everyone was stunned, and their eyes widened. He was round and his mouth was wide open, and he could hardly believe his eyes. 26th Floor, the 26th Floor of the Medicine God Tower this represents the 8th level intermediate elixir emperor master. Jason actually broke through? After the 26th floor of the medicine god tower, among all the disciples in our core hall, only Lan Yugusin has reached it, right? She couldn't pass it either, and she is also an 8th level intermediate elixir emperor, but this Jason is an 8th level low level master the spiritual medicine emperor master actually broke through the 26th floor representing the 8th level intermediate spiritual medicine emperor master. This Waterfield and others were shocked. They were really shocked. As an 8th level low level emperor, the spiritual masters Jason broke through the 25th floor. Although they were surprised, they were still mentally prepared, but he even broke through the 26th floor which was completely beyond their cognitive scope. You know, the masters of the ten halls of the Elixir Master Tower, like Pastor and Baptista, and even elders like Kevlin and Chittick, as eighth-level low-level Elixir Emperor Masters, are only in the field of medicine. The realm of the twenty-fifth floor of the Divine Tower, and an eighth-level intermediate Elixir Master, like Waterfield, has only broken through to the twenty-sixth floor and failed to reach the twenty-seventh floor. But now, Jason, who is an 8th level low level emperor, spiritual master, has rushed to the 27th floor. This makes them shocked and horrified. Could it be that Jason's hidden strength is not an 8th level low level emperor, spiritual master? At this moment, an idea appeared in Waterfield and the others' minds. Under the current situation, this was the only possibility. But soon, this possibility was rejected by them again. If an 8th level peak imperial spiritual master like Elder Sevlin was deceived by Jason's hidden strength, it would be excusable, but Elder Waterfield and Ku, who was the master of Nerio's Hall, that was a 9th level low level Holy Spirit master, not to mention that there was also a 9th level intermediate Holy Spirit master like Arutigo present. With their eyesight, they could naturally see that although Jason's spiritual power was powerful, his other in essence, it is just 8th level low level spiritual power. However, the situation of Jason breaking through the 26th floor of the medicine god tower appeared so clearly in their minds that they could not refute it at all. While they were shocked, Jason entered the perfect preparation on the 27th floor of the medicine god tower. This Jason, why do I think he can continue to persevere on the 27th floor? This, Jason's actions immediately attracted the attention of Waterfield and the others. I saw Jason completely immersed in the preparation of the 27th floor. His movements were extremely smooth, giving people a pleasing feeling. Under his control, a large number of elixir factors were continuously integrated and perfectly matched together. 
but in the eyes of Waterfield and the others, Jason's perfect preparation and movements, instead of bringing them a sense of beauty, only brought them boundless shock. When they were on the 25th floor of the Medicine God Tower, they thought it was good that Jason could barely get through the 25th floor. But suddenly, he was so good at the 27th floor. It seems that there is even a slight possibility of getting through the 27th floor. Is it possible that Jason can still get through the 27th floor? No, it's impossible. This is absolutely impossible. The 27th floor is the level of the 8th level advanced elixir emperor. Even elder brother Yalu is only at this level, right? Jason can pass, how is this possible? Waterfield and others couldn't believe that Jason could get through the next 27th floor, but after feeling Jason's powerful preparation in their minds, they all felt less confident. Determined, because so far, Jason's performance has not been as difficult as when he first broke through the 25th floor. This overwhelming and indomitable momentum deeply infected them, causing them to think of this completely impossible outcome in their minds. When Elder Waterfield and others were extremely shocked that Jason had broken through the 26th floor, Jason at this moment was completely integrated into the preparation of the 27th floor. In that vast white void space, Jason was floating quietly. Around his body, there were countless dense elements of different shapes and colors floating. These elemental factors are constantly combined to change the elemental form, or they intersect in pairs, or in combinations of three or three, or in chaotic combinations. They are flying in this small space and colliding with each other, appearing to be extremely chaotic. With such a violent and diverse elemental reaction, a normal 8th level low level elixir master would be unable to sustain it for a moment, and would be defeated and eliminated in an instant. With the full release of Vogadro's law, no matter how chaotic the elements in the void space are due to his hands, or how violent their reactions are, they can all be controlled within a very small range by Jason. Find the element factors that should be combined with each other, combine with each other and change, and there will be no big waves. This feeling, Jason closed his eyes with a faint smile on his face. His whole body had been completely integrated into the transformation of elemental factors. If Jason, who had not transformed Avogadro's law at the beginning, was allowed to control it, he might not be able to achieve such perfection, but after newly understanding the 30 Avogadro's laws, Jason still felt a sense of it was difficult, but still under his control. In Jason's feeling, his whole person has been completely integrated into it at this moment. At this moment, he has forgotten that he is undergoing assessment, and even forgot about the reactions between elemental factors. There is only endless data flowing in his mind, and his body naturally controlling these elixir factors, allowing these elemental factors to combine with each other freely and naturally. Jason himself also became one of them, floating in the ocean of elements. A large number of complex elixir factors were combined together under Jason's control, and they were continuously coordinated and formed. Finally, they were perfectly blended together to complete the preparation. When the last two groups of elixir were completely fused together by hand. Boom! In the entire void space, a huge roar suddenly came out. The 27th floor. Pass. On the steps of the Medicine God Tower space, Elder Waterfield and others were watching the picture that emerged in their minds. When Jason finally merged the last elixir factor and passed through the 27th floor, all the elders present, the hall masters, including Elder Yerudigo, were all shocked. This Jason actually broke through the 27th floor, which represents the 8th level advanced elixir emperor master. This is unbelievable. At this moment, they even thought about whether there was something wrong with the medicine god tower. In history, there had never been an 8th level low level emperor spiritual master who could break through the 27th floor of the medicine god tower. You know, even Elder Arudi, the strongest person present, only broke through to the 27th floor, but did not break through. Not only Elder Arudi, but also the two deputy tower masters, as 8th level senior the emperor's master of spiritual medicine only made it to the 27th floor and failed to break through, 
but he was like a human being breaking through and breaking through are two completely different concepts. When Jason broke through the 26th floor, which represented the 8th level intermediate elixir master, Elder Waterfield and the others were already in disbelief. They couldn't believe it and regarded Jason as a monster and pervert. But now, Elder Waterfield's concept of the Medicine God Tower has been completely piqued. An 8th level low level emperor spiritual master broke through the 27th floor of the spiritual medicine master tower. What a joke! Here, according to Jason's information, he is only in his 20s, right? At the age of 25, he joined the Spiritual Medicine Master Tower less than three years ago. Unexpectedly, he passed the 20th, it's the 7th floor. Is there something wrong with the Medicine God Tower? Waterfield and others looked at Elder Arudigo with disbelief in their eyes. No, the Medicine God Tower is the same as usual. I also watched Jason's process of breaking through the 27th floor. The difficulty is exactly the same as when I broke through. Elder Brother Yerudi also murmured with a dull expression. Then this Jason, the leaders of this group of spiritual medicine master towers all held their breath, and no one even spoke for a while Elder Brother Yerudi has been guarding the medicine god tower for hundreds of years. Since he said there was no problem, then there would definitely be no problem. For a moment, they were completely shocked by Jason's feat of breaking through the 27th floor. Faced with this absolute shock, they were stunned for a moment. Speechless. Not only Elder Waterfield, but also all the core disciples in the entire square who saw the layers emerging from the Medicine God Tower were stunned and stood dumbly in the square, speechless. The Spirit Medicine Master Tower has been standing on the mainland for thousands of years, but this is the first time something like this has happened. It's never happened before in history. It's never happened before. This Jason is so strong as a spiritual master. I didn't expect that his achievements as a spiritual medicine master would be even more amazing than his achievements as a spiritual master. An 8th level low level emperor, spiritual master, just passed the 27th floor and has broken the record of our spiritual medicine master tower for thousands of years, thousands of years, the first person in thousands of years, in terms of strength, the disciples of our spiritual medicine master tower among them, there is Lan Yugusin to fight against him, but in terms of spiritual medicine talent, judging from the performance of this medicine god tower, this Jason is definitely the number one person in our spiritual medicine tower. As long as this Jason does not die, otherwise, he will definitely become a super strong person. As long as he is loyal to our spiritual medicine master tower, even if he cannot inherit the position of tower master, becoming the deputy tower master and elder is a sure thing. This news must be notified to the higher-ups. In front of the steps of the medicine god tower, Elder Waterfield, Elder Arudigo, and others looked at each other with the same idea in their minds. In an instant, they made a decision. Wow. On the steps, Elder Brother Yerudi suddenly raised his hand. The number that was originally hanging high above the Medicine God Tower and showed the number of floors that Jason had entered in the Medicine God Tower disappeared instantly. All core disciples and guards are listening, because there is a problem inside the Medicine God Tower, so the space of the Medicine God Tower is temporarily closed. All disciples and guards have returned to the Sky City, and will wait until the Medicine God Tower checks out the problem and solves it, continue to open. Elder Yalu Dij's majestic voice rumbled throughout the space of the Medicine God Tower, shocking the hearts of the people. In the originally silent space of the Medicine God Tower, everyone looked at each other. A large group of people exhaled as if they had put down some heavy burden. Immediately, the entire space of the Medicine God Tower suddenly erupted with a huge roar of discussion. I asked how senior brother Jason could break into the 27th floor. It turns out there is something wrong with the Medicine God Tower. I heard that senior brother Jason is an 8th level low level emperor, spiritual master. He broke through the 7th level of earthing before. I thought it was my eyesight, but it turned out that it wasn't my eyesight it was the Medicine God Tower's gate problem. Scared. I jumped so hard, it scared me to death, it scared me to death. 
For a moment, the sound of exhaling came one after another in the square of the Medicine God Tower space, but some core disciples still felt that something was wrong, but this thought was just it flashed in their minds and soon disappeared without a trace. In fact, Jason, who was an 8th level low level imperial spiritual master, broke through the 27th floor of the Medicine God Tower, which represented the 8th level high level spiritual medicine emperor master. It was so absurd that they had no choice but to disbelieve the words of Elder Brother Yalu. With various thoughts in mind, all the core disciples in the entire square, as well as many guards under the command of several hall masters, entered the teleportation array in the square one by one, left the medicine god tower, and returned to the core hall. Even Lan Yub Gusen, who has a special status in the medicine master tower, is no exception. Suddenly, only Cornelios and other six dog hall masters, as well as Waterfield and other three elders were left in the entire Medicine God Tower Square. Their faces were no longer as relaxed as before, and some were extremely solemn. If the information displayed on the Medicine God Tower is correct, this Jason's attainments in spiritual medicine will be the first genius in the thousands of years since the establishment of our Medicine God Tower. But more importantly, this Jason, how on earth did you get past the 27th level as a low-level emperor spiritualist? I don't understand, and Elder Waterfield and the others don't understand either. Jason actually got through the 27th floor, but why hasn't he come out for so long? Could it be Elder Brother Yerudi couldn't help but be filled with dismay when he saw Jason continue to enter the 28th floor? It was shock, he wants to break through to the 28th floor? At this moment, not only Elder Yeridij, but also the rest of the people present had their consciousness reconnected to the Medicine God Tower. After seeing the scene in the Medicine God Tower, their eyes all widened. In their minds, at this moment, Jason was on the 28th floor, representing the 9th level low level elixir master, starting his own breakthrough. No matter, there is absolutely no way Jason can pass through the 28th floor. There is no doubt about it. Inform the two deputy tower masters immediately, Brother Yaludi and Kevlin. You are here, and I will notify them. Sir. Waterfield glanced at Brother Arudi and the others. La. Waterfield took one step forward and arrived in front of the teleportation array in an instant. The teleportation array lit up sharply, and the dazzling white light enveloped Elder Waterfield. Disappeared out of thin air. Elder Waterfield had obviously rushed to report to the two deputy tower masters. He knew in his heart that Jason's monster-like talent and unconventional performance in the Medicine God Tower were beyond their ability to handle. Yes, it can completely shock the two tower masters. After Waterfield left, the remaining eight people in the Medicine God Tower space continued to connect their consciousness to the Medicine God Tower to watch Jason's performance on the 28th floor.